All right, welcome back to another video by the Canadian Home Painter. In this video, I'm just going to show you how I like to freehand um, a straight line up against a dark accent wall. So the accent wall is all done. That's dry. You, you want to make sure it's nice and dry. All you got to do is turn your brush on its side and you'll be able to just nicely drag it down freehand without any tape um, and get a nice straight line in that corner. Uh, I like to use a fairly new brush, so one that hasn't been washed too many times and is um, is, in good, is a good quality brush and then just turn on its side and just nicely drag it down against the dark painted accent wall. Now you want to get a little bit of the excess off. You don't want um, any uh, large quantity of paint on the brush. That's kind of key. So you see I dip it in the paint bucket or my, my, my hand handheld paint pail and then I make sure to take off both sides of the brush and then even when I start I even will just like you can see take a little bit more off to make sure there's really not much on the brush. That will give me the, uh, the best amount to just drag it down right against that dark accent wall. This is going to take some practice, especially if you are an amateur, um, but it will save you a lot of time when you don't have to worry about, you know, putting tape on and worrying about getting the tape nice and straight with no air pockets or anything um, that the paint could get through onto your accent wall. Um, and you can tell that it's just so much quicker to do it like this. Now, you don't have to go as fast as I am here. Um, you can take your time and just go nice and slow and you'll get a, just a really nice straight line. And it, really, it's only a matter of turning the brush on the right angle. That will uh, help you to get that, that nice straight line. But you do want to make sure that the accent wall is nice and dry. Uh, so it's had enough time to uh, to dry or else if it is a little bit wet yet it's gonna mess up uh, your lighter color that's going up against it I do like to have the accent wall done first and then the lighter color done second um, but yeah good quality brush uh, fairly new you don't want one you know that's been washed a bunch of times and is quite wide you want one that's fairly new and fairly narrow um, I like to use the inch and a half um, but I've also been able to use the two inch. I just find the inch and a half, for whatever reason, has the right amount of paint, easy to control, and easy to drag down to, to make a nice straight line. Obviously too, just another piece of advice would be use good quality paint. That will also make a difference on how the job turns out. You can see I just go right into that 90, 90 degree corner and, uh, and then after, I will flip the brush onto its other side just to feather it out and uh, get it feathered away and blend it in. You don't want any high points or heavy points of paint. Um, so then I feather it out away from the corner. You can see it's about um, two to three inches away from the wall. And then after that, I'll do my rolling on of the the paint and uh, as you can see that's uh, turning out very good so yeah just a little tip for freehand